The three years are up, Miss Abigail. Please come home and take your responsibility as heiress to the Ashford family. There's still two days left. I'll come back when the time comes. Please leave immediately. You're blowing my cover. But Miss Abigail, today's your birthday. The chairman wants you Got to- Got it. I will call grandpa. Now please, go. So, go ahead, tell me how your day went. <laughs> Where then to get all of that crap? You look like you've been run over by a car. How can you treat me like this? In front of a guest? Melinda, I think that I should take a rain check. I thought we were family, but someone seems to treat me like an outsider. No, Olivia, do not listen to this gold digger's bum's nonsense. Caught Jonathan at his most vulnerable. You are the Mrs. Lockwood to be. Jonathan saved me three years ago and had since been in a vegetative state. No, no, I turned no, my back against no, the world no. and my grandpa to be by his side. I can't believe this is how his family sees me. If you really want to go, leave my house and my son for good. Stop it! Jonathan, Abigail pushed me down. She's always bullying me. How could you do this to my mother? Jonathan, I, I didn't do anything. It was because... It, it's totally my fault for being here. Abigail probably got the wrong idea and she took it out on Melinda. I should just go. No, sweetheart. You stay the night and we'll see what she's also capable of. Apologize to my mom. Why should I? I won't say it again. No. I'm fine with you marrying me for my money, but you hurt my mother, and that's crossing the line. I didn't hurt her, and I married you out of love. For a vegetable? No, no, it could only be for the money. How can you think the same as Melinda? Why won't you believe me? Quit your acting. Is she genuinely sad? Is she genuinely sad? Jonathan, can you help me? I'm not feeling well. Jonathan, I don't feel very well. Can you take me to the hospital? Ask the maid. I'm having an emergency at work. I gotta go check on Olivia. Jonathan, can you take me to the doctor? Jonathan, have you ever loved me? What are you doing? Drop the act. Jonathan wouldn't bat his eyes even if you were found dead. I don't want to see you. Get out. I just came to tell you that Jonathan still holds me so tightly and with so much warmth. The way that he worries about me is exactly the same as three years ago. I'm Jonathan Lockwood's wife. You're just a side piece. I suggest you leave Jonathan as soon as possible if you know what's good for you. What if I refuse? I will give you a million dollars to leave him. That's more than you could ever dream of. A million dollars, huh? Tell me, if you love Jonathan so much, where were you 
when he was in a coma for three whole years, or when his company was on the brink of bankruptcy. You And now that he is back on his feet, the company's doing well, you come running back. God, your audacity disgusts me. Ah! Ah! Abigail! Ah! Oh. Abigail, I need an explanation. Abigail, I need an explanation. No, it was all my fault. I knew Abigail got the wrong idea of us, so I just came to explain. I was worried about her. You should apologize to her. I did nothing wrong. Olivia was kind enough to care about you, but you treat her like this over and over. You're so ungrateful. I gave up everything to look after you and your mother all by myself, yet I'm the ungrateful one. Jonathan, I am your wife. Why can't you just believe me for once? I've tried, but you've only disappointed me so far. You said you took care of me while I was in my coma, but all I can see is Olivia, who did everything. That's why you owe an apology. These are photoshopped. Liar! I thought you only wanted me for my money, but I never thought you'd attack her character. Technology truly does wonders these days. I'll be taking all your glory of taking care of Jonathan. That's impossible. Olivia went abroad immediately after the accident. Melanda knows this. Why do you keep attacking me, Abigail? Melanda would vouch for me. You've disappointed me enough. Jonathan, we should get a divorce. You are not the Jonathan I fell in love with. You'll regret this. Regret? The biggest regret of my life is marrying you. Come pick me up. I'm going home. Yes, Miss Abigail. I'm on my way. Where the hell do you think you're going? Are you acting like you're running away? If so, you better never come back. Abigail says that she's divorcing Jonathan. I think she's joking. Rest assured, I've signed the divorce papers and I'll be gone for good. I did a background check on you when you were marrying Jonathan and nothing came back. You are a gold digging orphan. Wait. You must be looking for an outrageous alimony. <laughs> Gold digging. Orphan. Ridiculous. I'm not taking a single penny from you. In fact, I have a gift for you. <laughs> Trying to get in good with the mother-in-law? Too late! I've made tea for you for three years. Today, I leave you with the final brew. <gasps> You Are you insane? You Are you insane? Yeah, indeed. I must be insane for having married a comatose man, taking care of him for three years, waiting for him to wake up. Abigail, how could you do this to her? You'll be left with nothing after the divorce. We were just worried about you. Oh, you should worry about yourself. Aren't you tired of lying? <laughs> You think you can just walk off scot-free after disrespecting me under my own roof? My son bought you everything. You better not leave this house with one thing. Do you know the language of lavender? Devotion, loyalty, and patience for love. Guess Mom and Olivia weren't telling the whole truth. Maybe I did blame Abigail unfairly. Hope she'll accept my apology. <laughs> Stop it! What are you doing? What are you doing? Jonathan, look! She spilled tea all over me. She's totally disrespected us. 
Is that true? Does the truth matter? It's always my fault anyway. I've signed the divorce papers. And don't you worry, I'm not asking for any alimony. Where are you going? Divorce is no joke. I'm not joking. You don't have a job. How can you afford life? That is not your concern anymore. Abigail, wait. Take this check. Hold on, why the hell are you giving her a check? She's divorcing you. You never know what I truly want. Let's go.